Hey, hey, everybody, Smiles here with Gamer Smiles. First off, please ignore this, uh, the sun here. Uh, I've tried to block it out with a couple of my shades and curtains and things like that, but it wasn't working. Anyways, folks, that's not what we're here today for. We're here to finally jump in to the Crown Tundra. I am so excited, and yesterday I spent all day, I kid you not, building a team just for the Crown Tundra. And so I'm really excited to premiere the full bug team, all of my favorite bug Pokemon all at once, uh, taking on the Crown Tundra. Why bug? Why not? <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, but without further ado, let's hop in here. Um, I actually don't have an intro video just for playing battles. Uh, so unfortunately, unfortunate there, but no biggie. Uh, we will get in here and get ready to play some uh, Sword and Sealed getting into the Crown Tundra. I got my uh, Trader Joe's cup of... Uh, cup of lemonade, and we're ready to rock. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, that was a big salt. That was a big sip. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm so excited to hop in here. But before we hop in the Crown Tundra, you might be wondering, why Why exactly are we at the dojo? That seems like an odd place to be. Um, aren't we supposed to be going to the Crown Tundra, Smiles? You're right. But there was one more thing that we must do in the dojo, in Isle of Armor. There's one more battle before we hop into the Crown Tundra. Now, this took over a million watts to get, but we finally have the chance to challenge the one, the only, Honey. Let's do it. Was the dude that we <laughs> the dude that chickened out? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy! That's hilarious. I did not expect it to be the dude uh, that was originally supposed to be here. That's hilarious. The wild dojo. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is so weird. He went to another dojo because he was afraid here, and then he's now coming back here to challenge us. What? Yo, wait. Yo, honey. Yo, she's, she's legit. She beat this guy up. Heck yeah, you didn't even need Pokemon. Wow, what a coward. That's hilarious. I <laughs> spilt moo moo milk. No worries. All right, honey, let's go. All right, so Dana, out of any trainer, Honey deserves like her own battle scene. Let's be real. Oh, dang, she going in hard with Blissey. Girl coming at us all malicious like. I'm gonna hit up this Blissey with his play rough. Luckily, Blissey's pretty low defensively, so we were able to knock her out pretty easily. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is the team that I used in the Isle of Armor originally. Alright, so we see it has Gallade. Wow, this is easy for the fairy team. I think I'll go with I'll go with Slurpruff this time around. Yeah. Alright, so Honey's gonna go ahead and send out Gallade. And we're gonna head up this Gallade with this play rough here. I'm surprised they're all like level 60. I would think that they would be a little bit higher, but no biggie. Alright, 
Oh, Darmanitan. Okay, now things are getting interesting. Uh-oh. I forgot to heal up my own Grimmsnarl. <laughs> no biggie. Uh, yeah, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with Clefable. Alright, I'm excited. Things are about to get interesting. Aw, oh, Clefable wants to be petted. Uh-oh, here comes this Icicle Crass. Hopefully I don't flinch. Ooh, that was a good amount of damage, too. Oh, I knew it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not what we were looking for. Darmanitan, you jerk. Don't do that. Don't flinch me, please. Uh-oh. Okay, we get off the Mystical Fire. Yeah, okay, cool. That's a one-hit KO. I like that. Toga Kit. Dang, this girl got like some crazy good Pokemon on her team. I still don't have any Pokemon that hit Toga Kit super effectively, so I'll just go with Primarina. Primarina has good defenses naturally, anyways. Um, so she should be able to handle the hits and come back with like a Hyper Force or a Moonblast, something like that. I think Moonblast actually outpowers Hyper Voice 95 versus 90, yeah. I could technically have gone for Hydro Pump, but I didn't want to risk the miss. There we go. So we're coming in with that Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we take that like a champ. Honey has a pretty interesting team. Uh, very scary. A lot of good Pokemon on it. Uh, I, I, Blissey is tough to deal with. Alright, and we're going to have to deal with Salazol. I'll keep uh, Primarina out, because I'm pretty sure it's still going to be a one-hit KO with this Hyper Voice. Um, I think the one thing I would like to do would be to heal up Grimmsnarl, because I totally forgot to do that. Um, and that will give me the best chance against their last Pokemon. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Let's see. Um, yeah, I got I, Moo Moo Milk. I have 100. Yeah, I'll just use the Hyper Poison. That's all I need. There we go. I mean, this is kind of, okay, sweet. Wow, that was the perfect turn. Exactly what I was hoping for. I got very lucky. Ooh, Salazel goes in with that Toxic. Ooh, and I like, I actually didn't notice that. Salazel's hands will actually kind of glow a little reddish. Uh, that was really cool to see. Sweet, and that's enough to knock out Salazel. What is up, Apollo? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, we are just facing off, honey, the last challenge we needed to do in the Isle of Armor before we head out. How you doing, by the way? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm super excited. And I know that we are also equally pumped to have Dax play with us, too. I got his stream uh, on my uh, computer on the side here on the laptop. And we got Grim Snarl. Ready to go. And she sends out Blastoise, picking up the last Pokemon uh, that we actually didn't claim uh, whenever we went for... Whenever Honey uh, chose the... Uh, whenever Honey chose... Whenever we chose Bulbasaur, she picked last, uh, Squirtle. Uh, and so that's the last Pokemon. So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and Gigantamax our own Grim Snarl. Get him out there and have him ready to rock and roll. Yo, okay, I'm glad they at least gave Honey uh, her own animation. That's dope. Yo, she's... Talk about a good trainer. Man, Honey is dope. This is, she's awesome. Oh, we're gonna fire off this G-Max snooze! Not enough to KO in the first bit, but pretty close to it. Oh, damn! That was dope. Yo, Cannonade is actually really good, especially because uh, the idea of like doing chip damage to non-water type Pokemon every turn is really good. Uh, same with Vinelash. Um, 
I think Vine Launch is really... I, I'm trying to think out of the three, which one do I prefer? Um, because Venusaur's Vine Launch is really good. All right, and we're able to knock out the Blastoise with that critical hit, and that is it. And we are ready to go to the Crown Tundra. Woo! I'm glad that we started off the, uh, the stream with an explosive battle. That was fun. I like how respectful she is. Aw. <laughs> I like how in the Isle of Armor they they very much. Uh, uh, I I like how um, they're very much family. So Apollo asked, uh, uh, he and Dax couldn't join a Dynamax uh, adventure together earlier. I'm not sure. I think one reason that might be, it might be where you guys are at in the adventure. Uh, it might be that you have to. I'm not sure exactly. I haven't tried to join a Dynamax adventure myself. Um, but it might be possible to, um, yeah, what's the next goal pose? That's interesting. Yeah, I'll just give you all my watch, why not? Yeah, I wonder what, what you would, uh, a walk. That seems interesting. Um, but yeah. I, I'm not 100% sure uh, how to join a Dynamax raid, uh, Dynamax adventure, unfortunately. So I, I don't really have too much insight there. Um, but yeah, I'll have to figure it out. All right, so we have. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give Ore Beetle the soup, and now we're ready to go to the Crown Tundra. But it might also be just where y'all at in the story. Like you might need to be at a certain point. Uh, before you can join other people's uh, Dynamax adventures. I'm actually not sure where, how far you are. Uh, knowing you, you're probably pretty far <laughs> already. Um, but that might be, that may be a reason why. Um, but, alrighty, we're going to go ahead and get the team ready. And there we are, our bug friends. It is a bug's life here on Gaming with Smiles as we are going to the Crown Tundra. I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, and we're going to be taking this team with us. So let's head on out. Yeah, maybe at the end of the story, I think that's the thing too, of like probably the first uh, adventure you can't join with friends. Uh, and then afterwards you can. Um, Seraphie also has a pretty good list of which Pokemon are in the story. Yeah, I mean, we could technically walk over, or we could technically fly over to Wedgehurst, but eh. We'll go the scenic route. Absorb a little bit more of uh, the Owl of Armor before we head over the Crown Tundra. Now that's the Pokemon. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot I had Zerud from a trade. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so we have to go to Wedgehurst first. Let's go ahead and fly back. Let's go to the Crown Tundra Station. And here we go, folks. I found it interesting that the Crown Tundra was in the south. And kind of cool. But yeah, that was that was something that was, took me by surprise. Uh, but it makes sense. It probably is more of like how the uh, the region of Galar is like mainly flat on both sides, and then it kind of goes up to a tip, like a, a like a mountain range. It is my first visit.
Hmm. So things have changed. Let's see if there's anything special in this Pokemon. Nah, nothing really special here. Alright, and you can go to different uh, stations here. Cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It does look like an inverted United Kingdom for sure. Um, it definitely has that feel to it. Um, wow. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> kind of reminds me of my dad. Um, okay, so this is a pretty big family conflict. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to sneak away from this. Oh, jeez. Um... Uh, no, there's no more! Uh, no, wait. Uh, okay, fine. Fine! Ultra mega embarrassed as I unleashed the noble war of dad. Oh, gosh. Um, no. Right? That's the thing. It's like, this is a very domestic situation. I'll, okay, fine. I'll help you out. Yeah, I, I have. Oh, what's up, Peony? Yo! Hang on, I gotta bump up the volume a little bit. Mm. Let's go, Orbeetle! First venture in the Crown Tundra. Uh oh. They're at level 70. I didn't think they were gonna be this high. Alright, this is gonna be a challenge! Let's go for it! I love it. The better, the. It's better that it's a challenge than easy. Uh oh, Kaparaja goes for Heavy Slam. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Woo! I almost got knocked out. <laughs> I thought level 60, because that was the original one for Isle of Armor. So I was like, okay, I'll make it at level 60. But nah, they need you at level 70 here. Luckily here, if Kaparaja does go for Heavy Slam, I resist it. Um, and also, I have a chance to burn it too. There we go. There we go. That'll make it a lot easier. And then I'm pretty sure now with the lowered special defense, um, I'll be able to fire off this mystical fire. Uh, and either one hit KO or get it pretty close. And all that chip damage too is going to be so helpful. We're going to go fire off this mystical fire. Actually, I'm going to keep them at 60. I'm glad that uh, my Pokemon at level 60 makes it challenging. Next time, it's my turn. Well, this boy is ready to go. I like the fact that my Pokemon are underleveled. This is good. This is good. I want a challenge. Alright, Agron, let's go. I'm go ahead and bring in Heracross here. That close combat is four times super effective. So hopefully we can knock it out quick. My bug boys. Ultra Mega determined to get. And sends out Agron. Now, if it has Sturdy, of course it would have Sturdy. Great. Oh, it has a Berry, too? What Berry? Oh, okay, that's fine. Citrus Berry. Oof. That's gonna actually hurt. Heracross, no! Oh, no, Heracross! My boy. Um, we are not playing a, uh, Nuzlocke, luckily. Um, but I'm trying to think. What do I, how do I want to knock him out? Um... I'm gonna be relatively slow. I'm just gonna use Giga Drain. I should be okay. There we go. 
get a little extra healing. It won't really make too much of a difference, but... Because the battle's over, but dang! Dang, that Agron really hit hard. I was so surprised. Okay, um, so one thing I want to do, my computer for some reason is, keeps on going in sleep mode on my laptop. Uh, but I do want to keep it on because I want to watch that uh, stream as well. Um, and I also have the, so it's hard because like right now I have the stream manager on my phone. Uh, and I also have the laptop is how I'm trying to watch Dax. So let me go ahead and I'm going to move, grab my laptop. I'm going to still keep it on the screen, uh, but I'll be like literally five seconds. So I'll be right back. All right, folks, we are back. Luckily, easy enough. Uh, Dax is streaming uh, A-Drive right now, and A-Drive is at a spoiler point in the game, so kind of lower the laptop for now so I avoid that part. Uh, but I'm really excited to co-stream with A-Drive. Uh, not A-Drive. I'm. Uh, oh, no! N Naya disappeared. Darling, huh? Oh, <laughs> um, He wanted a father-daughter trip. Um... Oh, okay, cool. No worries. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to stream with him whenever he's back helping out his dad. Um, curious, maybe I'll get uh, basically to where he's at uh, by the time he's back. <laughs> it must be. Alright, so we gotta go to the max layer now. Hey, where are you going? Crazy old goo. Crazy old fool. Crazy old foo. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and heal up some of our Pokemon. Dang. Bummed that. I, that was crazy. I thought that level 60 would be enough, but they're a lot stronger. Um, but luckily, we got some healing. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can capture out here. Oh, there's Cryogonal. I did see Amara. And there's Pillow Swine just hanging out. That's dope. Whoa, what? Is that Snom? No, it's a Swine Up. Alrighty, so here, we'll go ahead and run away from it. No need to take on that Swine Up. Actually, you know what? Something I can do. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn off studio mode for now. So I can actually I'll take the webcam. Something I notice I'll do is I'll look away from the gameplay, but I'm actually looking towards it. So I'm going to go ahead and flip horizontal. There you go. Much better. Yeah, that way I'm looking at the gameplay, even if I'm looking at the computer screen too. Awesome. I think that looks a lot better. Let's do that. Cool. All right, let's keep it going, guys. Yeah, and that's easy. I just point towards that way. Feels natural. Awesome. Yo, we got Jinx. Um, we're good to ignore it. Uh, it funny enough in. Nope. Uh, I'm good. Uh, funny enough in high school. Uh, wow, that's the first time I ever got an ice heal. That's crazy. Um, in high school, uh, Dax and I, uh, we had a uh, economic class. Yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. And that's a good call out there of having a lot of quick balls, uh, making it easier to catch a lot of Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go do the decks right now, but I that might be something I might keep in mind just to catch a couple Pokemon. Um, 
Oh man, I I really want a sign. Oh, the first time I ever got an odd incense too. That's interesting. I thought I would have gotten that sooner. Yo, there's a Amara right. Oh. Uh, every time I run into a Amara, there's like cutscene. You can't. You're interrupted. All right, so that's the max layer, uh, and so we can go over there and um, check that out. Actually, Apollo, oh, yo, Apollo, by the way, okay, so you're hunting for Tyrant, and you want Tyrant. Um, what other Pokemon have you caught so far? Uh, curious to hear what Pokemon you've gotten. Okay, hey, Omar. Hang on, we'll, we'll catch you for sure. Give me a second. There were some, I think there were some items. All right, Omar, what you got for us? Let's see. I think you have 60. Okay, yeah. Oh, and it's female too. Yes. Okay, I could use a quick ball. I kind of want to weaken you, actually. Yeah. Because I want to get you in... What kind of Pokeball? Oh my gosh, guys. We can use things like a moon ball. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute. A moon ball. Yeah, because you can't catch a mar in the wild in other games. So this is the first time that you can catch a mar outside of a Pokeball. Oh my gosh, we gotta catch it in the moon ball. Alright, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a check for sure. Um, but I got an idea of how we can do this. Let's go ahead and hit with Shadow Ball. So this is not Alright, you know what? I'm gonna I'm fortune favors the bowl. Let's hit with this Giga Drain. Oh dang, that's pretty good. That's a good amount of Pokemon you got. So I got Jinx, the Nidoline, Line, Beldum, and Amara. Yo, Amara coming in and with the hyper beam! Whoa! Almost a vis- well, luckily I, I wasn't eviscerated by that Hyper Beam. But luckily I got a Pokemon that can help out with this capture. Um, I was actually tempted to teach um, Galvantula a grass move. But then I was like, I have two grass coverage on my team already with Volcarona and um, Orbeetle. I don't need Ga Galvantula to know a grass move. And so I'm so glad I decided to keep Thunder Wave for moments like this. I was like, boom, I use that. Amara is now paralyzed. Okay, it's gonna fire off this blizzard. Totally fine. We'll take it. I'll have to be... Take some hail damage. Okay, guys. Fingers crossed. I really want it in this moon ball. That is gonna look so cute. Let's do this. Come on, Amara. In the moon ball you go. Yes! <laughs> we got Amara in the moon ball! Perfect! And that way if I ever breed like a competitive Mar Amara or, some or Warus or something in the Moon Ball, that's going to be so cute. I'm so pumped about that. Uh, yeah, let's check out your uh, summary. I don't think you would have Snow Warning. Yeah, you would have Refrigerate. So Hyper Beam was actually a uh, Ice Moon, which is really strong. And it also knows like Hyper Voice and things like that. So I think that's going to be awesome uh, later down the line. Um... Cool. So, awesome. We got our more ready to rock. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. This is perfect. Oh, wait, shoot. I forgot to check uh, her nature. It's not really a big deal. I think it was, like, neutral. Yeah, it's neutral. Eh, I don't really care. Oh, I caught on the slippery slope. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. You can go ahead and put Amara in the box. Actually, while I'm here, let me go check her IVs real quick. Because, again, nature doesn't really bother me, but... Okay, so Amara doesn't have any... Okay, that's totally fine. But the fact that we got a Moon Ball Amara's, Amara is perfect. I am so excited for that. Woo! Woo! Let's get some hype in the chat. We got our first catch in the Crown Tundra. It's a good catch. Yo, we got that Mammal Swine. We got more Amara's here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and save that for now. There's Audino. Yo, they need to have Megas back. Yo, there's some good Mega Pokemon that could come back, like Mega Audino. And things like that. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, thank you, Apollo. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's go adventure a little bit more. Oh, is this a... Uh, this is probably the... I watched a little bit of Dax's stream last night. So I didn't... I remember the carrot. So this is Friesenton. Okay. So we, we kind of went ahead. And we, we're already at Friesenton now. Dang. Oh, I never owned a utility belt. A utility umbrella. Sturdy Umbrella, Rain or Harsh Sunlight. I wonder 
what that means. Is it more of like, I don't get like, extra damage from fire attacks? Okay, so the statue actually does look like Calyrex pretty well. Yeah. Because I was watching on Daxman's stream, and I couldn't tell. I was watching on my phone. Um, so it's like, I thought it was like a... I knew it was a, like, it looked like... I thought it was just like a generic, like, figure on the statue. But it, the statue literally looks like Calyrex. Yeah, sure. was about quid pro quo and so that's the eight uh dynites that we need got an energy root there all right we got to go the back route so we can get that item all right got some charcoal help power up some fire moves actually you know what i should give some of my pokemon some items like that like give them the bulk run of the charcoal and things like that I might need to level up my Pokemon, so I will fight off this Abomic Snow. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this Abomic Snow with this Bug Buzz right here. Oh dang, Abomic Snow's at 64? Are the Pokemon a little bit... Because I, I thought they would just be at 60. Uh-oh. Please don't. Please don't knock me out. Ah, oh, the hail knocked me out. Dang. I'm very lucky we're not playing a Nuzlocke version of this. Um, yeah, I, I do, well, nah, because I don't want, technically any of them can knock him out, um, but I actually don't want my, yeah, I don't want to have Orbeetle, um, okay, up to 65, that's what I figured, um, I know that 65 are, like, for the strongest encounters, uh, in the normal wild area, but I didn't know if, uh, like, normal wild Pokemon in the grass could be higher than 60, um, but yeah, up to 65 makes sense. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and head back up uh, through the slippery slope. Um, yeah, I'll. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I got like 85 or so. Of, I have 82 revives. Whatever. I'll just do that. Actually, while I'm here, let me go ahead and give some like attack items to make it easier for these guys. Uh, I'm really excited. I did not anticipate. Um, yeah, I'll give you the odd incense. I did not anticipate. Uh, the, uh, them to be actually higher leveled. Uh, so this is really exciting. And I'm hopeful that we'll make it a challenge. Okay, so... Um, yeah, not the berry sweets. I don't need those. Um, mental herb, choice band, king's rack, silver powder, amulet coin, amulet coin, cleanse tag. Um, that could help power up scissors. I think a... Black glasses, dark type moves. I'll give that to Heracross because Her no, not Galvantula. I'll give the black glasses to Heracross because they have throat chop. Basically to power up non the non-stab moves. Uh, I'll give this a scissor. Uh, I you don't need accuracy boosting. You have compound eyes. Expert belt might be kind of nice. You don't need a focus sash. Um Uh, if in, when intimidated, I'm trying to think. What would um, heavy duty boots could be helpful for? Um, oh, so I have some dynite ore. Oh yeah, because I ran into a. I think I did a max raid last night, and that gave me some dynite ore. Okay, um, a little bit harder to tell for what. what well, Volcarona actually would help. From, would benefit from the. Uh, what was it, the, there's like a Miracle Seed or something? Yeah, Miracle Seed on Volcarona. And I could probably give, uh, is that a Bug one? Yeah, Silver Powder. Perfect. That means your Bug Buzz is a little bit more powerful. Perfect. I think that's perfect. Oh, wait, uh, Hard Rock for, um, our hard stone for Vespa Queen to help power up her power jump. Perfect. Awesome. Dope. Now, I haven't had the Dynamax Adventure yet. I'm about to do that. Uh, we're heading over to the Max Ray, uh, Max Ray right now. I was just <laughs> dicking around a little bit. Um, 
uh, before we did that. Um, but yeah, no, we're, we're almost there to the max grade battles. Uh, I'm going to check that out. I guess my question as I go through that is... And I did see... Yo, what is up, Dax, man? Great to see you. Glad to see you. Almost back to your place. I'm excited to stream with alongside you. Uh, we're close to where... We're, I'm actually close to where you left off last night. But what? My daughter's in there. Nothing's all right and everything's a matter. <laughs> I like how, look at him, he's just very impatient. I love that. All right, so we can go in, cool. Okay, so uh, one question I do have is, uh, I know that for shiny Pokemon, if you catch every Pokemon, you can see if they, if they're shiny. But let's say you decide not to take your Pokemon. Uh, do you lose your Pokeballs in the process? Um, because that's what I'm worried about, is I don't want to burn off, like, let me keep on throwing Moon Balls, um, and that, and then I lose them. So, yeah, so I catch the Pokemon. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's story-wise, they describe that they give you rental Pokemon because uh, they won't go rampant with the Dynamax energy. Alright, so we're ready to go. Yeah, we can save our game. Let's go. Okay, so because I'm new, I have to try them alone now, and then later I can invite people. Okay, so we got a couple Pokemon. We have Rotom, we have Obama Snow with Snow Soundproof, uh, and we have Hitmonlee with Limber. I think I want to go with Hitmonlee for now. Big Pelipper. Okay, good. Uh, solid. Oh, sweet, yeah, and, and actually in the, um, okay, so that's probably Suicune, um, but you look, you can actually see the silhouettes of the different Pokemon, so, like, uh, here you see that's Araquanid, and here we'll see it's Executor. Um, I do have Blaze Kick, so I do feel confident going in the grass route, I just have to be mindful if I get hit with a, um, Psychic, that's the main thing I need to be mindful of. Alrighty, so we're gonna have this Executor. Whoa, that was pretty loud. <laughs> Executor going at it. So I could Dynamax now. Um, the, I think the problem... Oh shoot, yeah, I should have thought this too, because Pelipper technically has Drizzle, which will weaken the first one. Why is Pelipper... Why are two of the Pokemon using defensive tactic? We should be trying to hit Executor as much damage as possible. Um, unless Rotom's using Will-O-Wisp, which is smart because then Hex the next turn is going to do a lot of damage. Yo, Hitmonlee, he's going at it. Okay. I like that. I'm okay with this wide guard coming out. Jolteon goes to Shadow Ball, perfect. And I'm going to fire off this Max Flare. Yeah, it's not going to do too, too much now, but next turn, the Max Flare is going to be powering up even further, uh, which will be helpful. Cool. Perfect. Great call. We can use Hex next turn, and that's just going to do a lot. Okay, that's not a big deal. Oh, actually, thank goodness, but thanks to the burn, that Cypher Cut became even weaker. Let's go Jolteon. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now this Max Flare 
um, is going to do a lot. Uh, yeah, you feel free to fire up the Discord. Um, I, I might be on the stream manager, so I might not be as active in Discord, uh, but you're more than welcome to. Uh, get that stream rolling, though. I will be in your Twitch chat as well, Daxman. Um, and so I'm excited to check that out. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to throw a Great Ball, and I'm going to see if the Great Ball goes away next time. Because if so, then I'm not going to Shiny Hunt this uh, Suicune now. I can get it later. Oh, oopsies. Uh, I guess with Executor now, um, I'll go the electric route. I think that's just a Bolton. I forgot to check the status. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe we did get a shiny tick to a highly doubtful, though. Yeah, the unfortunate thing here is that Pelipper's Drizzle activates, so I won't be able to fire off the Solar Beam. Uh, but I could technically max. Uh, when, when I do get the Dynamax, I could max uh, and then start hitting off with these uh, Solar Beams. Oh. Well, lovely. Just goes for the crunch immediately. I'm glad that all my opponents decided, hey, let's try to attack this Bolton. Okay, so we did pretty good damage. <laughs> you try to use Helping Hand. That's hilarious. Yeah, we should be able to knock it out now. Oh, whoa, Tom, why are you will o wisping You should have just attacked. Okay, cool. There you go. Knocked out the Bolton. Okay, so I had 40 Great Balls last time, as you guys saw. So it does use up a Great Ball. Okay. Huh, okay, how do I tell? Yeah, we'll go ahead and swap with the Bolton. Okay. It looks like we got some berries, too. Um, bug means that we're going to be taking on uh, Armaldo. I don't know who normal is, but let's just go for normal. Oh, it's Munchlax! Alright, we'll go ahead and use Rising Voltage because it's Stab. Why not? That burn actually is going to be helpful. Uh, yeah, because like these attacks are like going to do nothing. Uh, although the burn is not fun. Okay, I think now I'll just go ahead and max. Yeah, I'll use max lightning. Yeah, I'm trying to think because like um, I technically don't want like. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna catch this uh, Munchlax, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, keep it, keep it. And then I'm gonna see like at the end of this, do we get to see this summary? Because if that's the case, then I will take it home with me. I take it home. It's kind of like you're going on to, like a theme park ride and you get to take a Pokemon home. Yeah, White Guard isn't actually gonna help us here. Uh, 
That's nice. That Electro Ball is going to be more powerful. Thanks. Uh oh. That Thunder Punch is actually pretty good on the Pelipper. Uh, we'll go one more Max Lightning. Pelipper, if you started attacking, that would actually be more helpful. Don't just use these wide guards. They're not helping you out, Pelipper. There we go. We got that max lightning right up in there. Hello, Tom. What are you doing? Why did everyone act so passive? Great. Pelipper's knocked out because it was stupid and decided, hey, I'm going to be passive here. Luckily, this next attack will be enough to knock it out. What? Oh, that's because I didn't get helping hand. Dang it. Okay. Well, thank you for actually attacking this time. Alright, so I am going to catch the Munchlax, but I'm not going to use it in our next battle. So we'll go ahead and throw a Great Ball at it. What is up, Daxman? Oh, yeah, by the way, I do see you on the stream. I'm in your chat, too. All right, let me unmute. All right, I'll kind of keep you a little bit quiet. But, yeah. Okay, so one of the uh, uh, trainers decided to take the Munchlax. Totally fine. Uh oh. Here it is. The Suicune! Yo, this theme is intense, let me tell ya. Okay, I don't get why Jolteon decided not to attack. Like, all, all of us ramming in with our electric moves would be great. Like, that's what we need to do right now. Okay, I'm glad that I didn't have Hitmonlee. Okay, come on, Rotom. If you're gonna use something like Electro Ball, please that'd be good. It would be nice if the uh, opponent. Uh. Okay, yo, that hex was good. Yo, let's get that Thunder Punch in. There we go. Okay, we're doing some good damage here. Yo, this backdrop is awesome too. Like, I hope that after uh, Crown Tundra, you could fight here, uh, in like online battles. That would be so dope. Okay, we're putting some good damage. Uh-oh. It's now using those max moves. Oi! Ooh, survivor of 14 HP! Okay. Munchlax is able to handle that like a champ. Alright, we'll go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, just attack. I don't think the Dynamax is gonna be as helpful. Because I won't survive an attack regardless, if it's so couldn't attack. Yeah, the fact that it's gonna use... <laughs> that was great! Your own psychic terrain prevented extreme speed from working, that was perfect. Okay, cool. I think as long as one of us attacks again...
All right, so we do know that it's 100% capture rate. Uh, I'll just go ahead and throw another great ball just for the heck of it. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to... Um, I don't think it's going to be shiny, um, and that's totally fine. Then I'll toss it, but I don't want to... Exact, I, I didn't want to like risk throwing like a moon ball or something uh, and losing it. Okay, so, Suicune. We have caught Suicune. I am so excited. Uh, and let's see what happens. Okay, got it. So you actually, if you catch them all, then you can choose which one you want to keep. I'm not going to keep Suicune, because it wasn't... Um, we do know that I had 40... Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take the Munchlax. Oh, so it has Thick Fat. Okay. Ooh, it has Gunk Shot already. Dang. Strong Jaw, Harvest, and Suicune, Liquidation. Okay, so that's that's basically what you see here. So I'll take Munchlax. I handed a Pokemon rented, and I gave the Pokemon I didn't select to the scientist. I got six Dynite War. I investigated the end and reached the innermost area. So hey, there you go. Nah, you can go to the part box. Okay, so let us just check what, um, no, wait, we gotta, we gotta go through this cutscene real quick. Also, if you guys are tuning into Dax Man's stream right now, he is in a Dynamax adventure, and he is taking on a Swampert, which is pretty intense. Aww. What a perfect name for you. It really suits you. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. Alright, here comes Peony. And he is knocked out! Oh my goodness. Look at our poor fella. Okay. Let's go see how many Pokeballs we have in the Great Balls. So, when I look at my Great Balls... Okay, so I use them up when, I, when we do the Dynamax thing. Okay. Huh. Because I, I want to use the moon balls and things, but I'm, I'm kind of worried about, like, oh, man, if you caught it in non... If you want to go shiny hunting, then that's the problem with the legendaries. But if you don't care about shininess, then not a big deal. There you go. Wow, I'm surprised we've gotten this far and he hasn't even known my name mate, name mate yet. Yeah, no, it, yeah, the, I was looking at the, uh, uh, Swampert that you had taken on, Daxman, and it looks really tough, for sure. 